Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to connect up the Nintendo Switch Joy-Con controllers to your Mac via Bluetooth so you can actually play a game with it. I'm going to demonstrate it using PCSXR which is a PlayStation 1 emulator for Mac but once you've done the initial setup process you're pretty much good to go, it's, it's connected, you just have to map the control if they need mapping. So the first thing that you need to do is go to your system preferences go to displays and in not display sorry <laughs> bluetooth and in here I've, I've already got them both connected so let me remove just the right one so it's not connected because it's not turned on but i've already got it synced i should say so let me show you my controllers now okay so you should be seeing both of my controllers now and to be able to sync it up what you want to do is find this button here there's a similar button on the left one as well and you just keep this pressed keep pressed until it starts doing that and it appears there if it doesn't appear straight away what i'll find that works is if you press this button single you know once again you'll turn off the sync Keep it pressed till it starts going into you know discovery mode. Even though you know it's constantly doing that. If I do that, it's the same with both of them, but they're both connected. So you have to have it like that. It's kind of an inconvenience, but it's not too bad. It's not too obtrusive. Now that's it. It's connected. Now if we launch your PCSXR and go to preferences, go to controller, configure. Okay, so this is where. You know, you, you might think it was a bit pointless of what I was, you know, trying to say, you know, trying to do in the video is, or part of it, is that you can only have one Joy-Con, you can only use one Joy-Con per controller. So, you might be thinking, why did, you know, why have I sort of suggested connect both of them? One, I want to show you that you can connect both and two, you could use one for each controller. But unfortunately, because they're two separate physical devices with two separate Bluetooth, you know, addresses and connections, you have to use one or the other. I'm gonna use the right one just because I prefer it because it's got you know face buttons on there. But that's just a preference, you know, really. And I'm gonna press this, and that turns it off. I'm gonna move that out of the way because we don't need this one. So let's you know just sort of map all the controls now. So there's just enough to do it. You know, assuming that we're not doing the analog stick version. So up, down, left, right, cross, circle, square, triangle. I'm going to put this as R1 and L2. L1. I mean, L1 and R1. L2, I'm going to put like the, what, what, what you could call the trigger. Then that. And then select and put the home button. And that's it. So now if we go to OK, cross this off. And if the actual sort of you know if, if it's gone a little darker on this on on the on the actual this part here, you know where the controller is, it's just because of recording via my phone, and it's come up with a warning saying temperature too high, so the flash is automatically turned off. Uh, it's not the end of the world. You should still be able to see it. So I'm going to go to Run Recent. I'm going to go to Defrost state, so it just takes me to the menu. Got the save. Now I can navigate. Press that to select. Now I'll just quickly show you it working. There we go. As you can see, it is, you know, working fantastically. There we go. That is it. So, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you in the next awesome video.